Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So for Bitcoin is moving further into the desired direction. In the last video, I told you that we can expect probably a bit of a retracement. Yeah, and I gave you here these two dotted lines. I haven't moved them and you can see how relevant that higher dotted line was. All good, retracement done. Um, and yeah, we are now ready for further moves to the downside, I would say. I mean, it's not yet guaranteed oops, that this move uh, retracement to the upside is complete, but I can tell you what I believe is gonna happen here. Um, so where do we come from? We do come from um, that wave three to the downside. We are now heading for, oh no, we had we did head for that wave four, 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 four to the upside, and we are now on our way in this wave five. Yeah, this is what we expected all the way along here. Yeah, we kind of knew that this was coming, um, at least expected it with a high probability. And I think it is now finally, finally working out. We already see on various altcoin charts that they are doing this, they are following the primary expectation. They have already made a lower low compared, or, you know, compared to that on the 12th of May. This is still what we expect for Bitcoin because Bitcoin has not completed this. We would also believe that the altcoins are going to put under more pressure in the next few days and weeks. Um, certainly because this is currently heading further down here. Yeah? Um, and Bitcoin has not finished this five wave move to the downside. So we are still expecting a lower low compared to that red wave three on the 12th of May. The wave five needs to get lower in this short time frame, a yeah? short term time frame. Um, overall, and I always have to say it, I always have to add it um, that Bitcoin from a higher level point of view it has completed all the minimum requirements to complete this overall Bitcoin correction that actually started already in May 2021. Um, so, you know, it has done everything it needs to do and I explained it all in detail in previous videos. So at any point in time, it can now start to move up to new all-time highs. But, and here's the thing, the short-term time frame Elliott Wave count does not suggest we are finished yet, while the higher level one requirements to complete the correction are done, the lower level wave count does not at all suggest we are finished. In addition to that, this structure here is a mess and I talked about it in detail in previous videos as well, that this is nothing on which we can build a new all-time high. Therefore, to reset this bloody, sorry, um, this structure, <laughs> we need to make a lower low compared to the 12th of May. Okay. So that is what we're waiting for. And the question is now, how is this unfolding? So from my point of view, this was already getting very likely from the moment when we broke below the wave B low. Told you that the triangle was broken because when you get confirmation that you break below the wave B low of a triangle, you just pretty much confirmed that the triangle is broken and this pretty much worked out very nicely. So far, yeah, since then we moved down nice um nearly eight percent yeah so that's not bad for bitcoin um the question is now how does this how do we count this and this was what i thought about today in detail because it's not easy at the moment yeah so there's various ways how we can count this so first of all we do expect the wave e to have been finished here um as the wave e has been finished we have to start counting the impulsive wave down. So we want to have five waves here within the red wave five. Now, I think the best way to actually count this yeah, is to count this as the wave one. We count this as the wave two. I think I showed you that in that, that variant of the count in the previous video. Then we can count this low here as the wave three. And then I'll do something that I didn't do in the previous video. I think what is, it is a very small one, but I think it is quite likely that actually this was the wave four and this was the wave five. This is one variant and I think a very likely one. And I think it is a very likely one because we found a very strong, we had a very strong reaction here at around 26.9K. Yeah? From here we moved up. So this means this was a five wave move. Does that mean the red wave five is complete? Not at all, why? because we haven't come below the wave low from the 12th of May, and that is what we need to do in a wave five. There are exceptions like truncations, shorter wave fives, but I don't see that here. So that means what this was in the end, it was only a wave one. 
a wave one of the red wave five, yeah, of this wave five. So what do we expect now? Do we expect a wave two? Yes. And uh, again, I told you in the previous video, we do expect a retracement to the upside. That happened. The question is now, and I'm not entirely convinced yet. The question is, is the wave two already done? So that's what we need to see. What did the wave two do already? Let's take a look. We start. Yeah, we can see the wave two reached the 38.2% FIB level. It reached perfectly that FIB level. We can see again how relevant the FIB levels are at 28.2K. Yes, it's okay for a wave two, but normally you would expect a wave two to retrace a little bit more. 28.6, maybe even 29K. Yeah. So, and maybe even 29.6. So usually you would expect somewhere here between the 50% and the 78.6. So that means between 28.6 and 29.6K. So that is where we would expect the wave two to get into. Again, maybe it's finished already. We had already quite a strong reaction to the downside, but um, we can also count this just as a wave A. This here is the wave B and the wave C is still, still coming. And that would take us somewhere here. So not entirely convinced the wave two is complete yet. Yeah, um, would be a bit too easy. Yeah, I think we're going to see a bit more upside in the wave two. And then the wave three is then what comes next. The wave three in yellow. Where would the wave three in yellow go? Let's take a look. Um, and we take the Fibonacci extension tool for that. So, okay. So that would actually take us down to 22.5K. So we're getting now into um, interesting territory because the wave one was quite long if we count it like that um, and, and again it, it depends how high the wave two now goes if the wave two goes higher you can see how the FIP targets move as well so it is not easy to to say now where the wave three would need to go it depends on where the wave two is peaking so yeah 22.6k that is pretty much where the a little bit higher than the 200 week moving average at the moment so then you would get a wave four to the upside and the last wave down is a wave five. So that could work out with a 20K. We, we need to see, we need to see. But what I do expect now is a little bit more of a move up in a wave two and then a wave three down. The wave three down should crash down. No? Um, the wave three is normally a very strong wave. And a few things to mention here. We could move already into the wave three. There's no guarantee that the wave two will go higher. The wave two will go higher, obviously, when we break above 28.2K. That is a good indication then that the wave two isn't done yet. Um, another point, the wave two is done if we see price action going below 26.9K. We move below the wave one low, wave two is done and we're moving into wave three. I can tell you what I think. I think Bear in mind, on the 15th of June, we have the FOMC meeting rate decision, I think. I'm not sure if they actually do that something this month, but it's a FOMC meeting. So whatever they say then could trigger something. So we might not need, we might not see exciting price action until the 15th of June, which will be Wednesday, I think. So on Wednesday, we can expect a bigger move. I think we might not see. There is a chance that towards the end of the week now, you know, the weekly candle close, we see quite a bit of price action. That is what we've seen the last few weeks. Uh, every time I woke up on the Monday, we had a change. So that is something I'm looking forward to see if there something is changing here overnight. Um, but if nothing changes, then I think we have to be patient until Wednesday so to see some more, a uh, little bit more of a catalyst that could then drive the price further to the downside yeah and to really end this overall correction i don't think bitcoin is ready yet i would have a real headache if bitcoin breaks out from here to the upside in any way um but to trigger the first indicator of a breakout scenario bitcoin would need to move above 30.4k first yeah 30.4k if it doesn't move above that level we're working further to the downside yeah and i'm re re focusing further on downside movement okay that's my view about Bitcoin here. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership and maybe even the trading course I'm currently offering on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.